about how it affects the children and how it affects men so i definitely we don't want to hold you but we definitely want to get to that before we let you go right, right, <laughs> go right. ahead, and I, I mean i guess i definitely want to hear that part you know the, yes. the, the male side of it or as the as the a victim yes so to speak but mm -hmm. also i wanted to say for 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 couples out there that's watching right um right now that may be um seeing the signs mm. right um and need to table the discussion right so before we get to the male side of it uh sister angie could you could you give them a tip or two on how you can start that kind of conversation um with someone where you are seeing the signs but you 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 know that you don't want to see it go any further um and i always say this in my videos it depends on the severity of the situation Mm -hmm. If you're to a point where you're too scared to say something and the abuser's temper is so abusive mm -hmm. and so explosive that you're scared, then you won't be able to do these tips. It's too late. Okay. Um, if the abuser is willing to listen, mm -hmm. he's, if the abuser is willing to listen, they're willing to change and they respect you, then you can do these tips. I always talk about this disclaimer. That's it's good. That's good. That's good. Did you guys hear? Situation. Did you guys hear that disclaimer? Did you hear that disclaimer? Sure disclaimer. It depends on the severity of the abuser. If the abuser is willing to change, listen, and respect you, then you can do these things. Mm -hmm. If the abuser is not willing to change, he's hell bent on controlling you, having power over you then it's too late. The only thing that I can tell you in that severe situation, get an escape plan, pack your bags, leave. Like do a Houdini, disappear. Don't warn him, don't have no conversation when he's sleeping, give him some sleeping pills, give her some sleeping pills, yeah, whatever man. you have to do when that person is sleeping, run. So again, I'll say this disclaimer one more time. Yes. This depends on the severity of the abuser. Yes. If the abuser is willing to change, listen and respect and values your opinion and your voice mm -hmm. you can do these tips the following tips are speak up talk about it hey i didn't like that joke i know you play around with your boys you know you say bees and hoes and all this other stuff and you do this and that that's not me i don't appreciate it do not make false accusations about it i don't like it speak okay. up and i'll give from a male perspective if the female is constantly accusing you of being this womanizer and having a lot of female friends and mm -hmm. you're sleeping with you're sleeping with Jen and you're sleeping with Keisha and you're sleeping mm -hmm. with um, Dominique down the street and a little Puerto Rican chick down the street and you're sitting under her feet 24 seven and right. you can't even look at your phone or answer a phone call without her accusing you of something. Right. That is verbal emotional abuse. Exactly. If that is a problem, men say something that is not cute, it's distasteful, and it's unladylike, and you shouldn't take it, nor should you subject yourself to it. That does not make you less of a man or make you less masculine if you're offended by that, because men have feelings as well. So you should not sit up there and take that. Check that, sister. You, you know what? Now you're getting on my nerves. It's not cute. Stop blaming me for stuff that I didn't do. So that's an example of emotional abuse. And I hope I answered Brother Alonzo's um, question. Yeah. No, absolutely, sis. Um, I just think that, you know, it's so important. And we're going to kind of, we do at the end of the show where you can give out some points, um, you know, and mm -hmm. some tips um, overall, you know, just to help. But like I said, we know we can't get this in. Um, right. in a 50 minute or 45 minute show. It's just so many layers and different things to it. Um, but 
I, I know that um, you're doing what you do, but I wanted you to kind of get into, like I was speaking about before, um, talk about the male um, yeah. being yeah. the victim. Yes. Um, and that the female is, is the abuser. Right. Um, I, I just gave an example of how males experience emotion abuse. So if the female is constantly verbally berating your manhood, then demasculating who you are as a man, that mm -hmm. is verbal abuse. If she's calling you the B word or saying you ain't crap or you don't do this or you don't do that. Or if you bought me this car, then that means you're a man. Or if you spend $10,000 on this engagement ring, then that means you really love me. Huh? Mm -hmm. You'd rather have a $10,000 engagement ring than add that as a down payment to the house that we're going to live in. So basically you're telling me that you're selfish, you're materialistic, you're all about the Joneses and appearances and you don't care about my he emotion. You right. don't care about my feelings. Just mm -hmm. because I express it in a different way, mm -hmm. and society says, as a man, I shouldn't cry, I shouldn't express how I feel, so mm -hmm. I become aggressive and I shut down, I don't vocalize how I feel, so now I'm the bad guy and I'm this mean person because you sitting up here in my ear constantly berating my manhood, right. constantly telling me who I'm not, because I don't mess up to your materialistic standards. So and that is a form of emotional abuse. Now, verbal what is, abuse, again. I was gonna say, what is, what is the stat? What is the stat that connects where it starts as emotional, right? Then it goes to verbal. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the stats for men where it turns physical? Like, you know, women actually hitting men, you know, the husband, the fiance, the boy, the living boyfriend, whatever the situation is. I mean, can you kind of get into that a little bit? Like, have you seen a lot of cases or heard about a lot of cases where that's the case and the man, you know, does not fight back and, you know, unfortunately he is actually physically abused? Um, I've seen, sadly, YouTube videos of these tall six foot men and these little women that are constantly smacking him mm. in their faces. Wow. And people are literally like laughing. So here you are, you have this big man who can literally pick this woman up by her neck and just throw her across the room. Mm -hmm. He can't because one, he'll get arrested. Right. Two, he'll get accused of the domestic violence. Right. right. He won't look at her because of her stature and how right. she carries herself. So it's like a double-edged sword. Like she's the abuser. There's a lot of celebrities online and it's just not coming out. Female celebrities who are being put in jail because they abuse their husband, so right. scratches mm -hmm. on the faces. Right. They're constantly smacking. I do a video how men, the women constantly smacks them. Anytime somebody smacks you in the face, even for men, you are telling them that they are nothing. Mm. They're worth nothing. You are literally beating them down to the ground and making them a slave. You're telling them that they're nothing, that you walk all over them. Your life means nothing to me. Mm -hmm. So being that I have control of you by slapping you in the face, that is the meaning behavior and that shows that you have no value or respect for who they are as a man so in return emotionally the man is embarrassed mm -hmm. and now he's angry and he's frustrated and he wants to knock you through the wall but he can't because he's afraid and maybe he was taught that you shouldn't hit a woman right but it's mixed signals because the woman is hitting me mm -hmm. how do i defend myself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do i hit her back or do I cower and cover myself? And if I cower and cover myself, I can't report you to the cops because I'll look weak. Wow. I'm the punk in the situation. Wow. So I can't really vocalize or say what I'm going through because I'm too embarrassed. Mm -hmm. So emotionally, the man is beat down and he feels weak. Mm. His masculinity is taken away from him. Mm -hmm. Verbally, if the female is constantly calling a man a female dog, saying that he's not nothing, and men are groomed to be protectors right. and providers. Right. And they're constantly hearing, well, you don't, the critique, like I talked about, the criticism. If the man is constantly hearing, well, you don't do this, and I know Harry will do it better than you, and Harry has more money, that man begins to second guess who he is. Mm. Well, wow. wow. Maybe if I made more money, she would respect me more. Maybe if I did this, she would respect me more. So then they get this distorted, twisted thinking. Mm -hmm. Well, let me be the bad guy because women like bad guys. Mm. Let me go you out and treat you like the hoe. Let mm. me be a womanizer and walk all over you. Whereas the beginning, 
and it goes back to that narcissistic right. rewriting right. the right. DNA, mm -hmm. rewriting, rewriting your genetic right. code, the right. nice guy syndrome. I was born and I was raised to be a respectful young man, mm -hmm. a husband to take care of a woman. Right. But because society is so materialistic and you got this chick who's materialistic and wants to live in the Joneses and have this reputation and be on top, she decides to demasculate who you are mm. by trying to get what she wants by berating your feelings right. and not caring about who you are. So you're up here. By the time she gets down to you, you're down here. So again, you have this distorted thinking of being the bad guy. Or mm. maybe if I abuse you and knock you around, then you'll respect me. No, right. it doesn't work so those, that way. That, that really speaks to on both sides. Mm -hmm. You know, we usually hear it from the term of, uh, or, the, or the side of a woman scorn, right? Like you don't want to be in a path of a woman scorn, right? This, right. this would now cause the woman to behave um, differently than she's accustomed to, right? Because she's mm -hmm. kind of more or less would say on the rampage, so to oh, speak. Yeah, so now, well, it, yeah, but now hold on. So that. what you're saying now, Sister Angie, is that this now can also be flipped. Mm -hmm. The man who was, as you said, grown, uh, groomed to be humble. loving, humble, mm -hmm. this, that, and the third, if, if, if it now took a shift in a relationship where now mm -hmm. he's molded and shaped into this new other person, Yep. That that he that he had no idea that he could become. So it can happen both on both sides. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Wow. And that wow. part isn't talked about. So that's the nice guy syndrome. Right. I was a nice guy and you know what? I'm this womanizer. I treat mm -hmm. women like hoes because I've been used for so long. I mm -hmm. was never respected. And mm -hmm. this is what they like. So I'm gonna show them who I am. Wow. Knowing that that's not how you was raised, that's not your God gifted genetic coding. Right. Right. But right. because this abuser had demasculated your manhood for so long, you believe in your distorted thinking, this is how women are going to perceive me from now. So now that you're on this destructive path, this mm -hmm. downward spiral, right. you miss out on the chance of meeting that perfect partner. You miss out on knowing the difference of a help me. Right. So right. instead of you don't see a helpmate anymore, you always see women as players. Right. Or you always see women as abusing you or using you for your money. Right. They always right. want something from you. So you have this guard, you have this wall. Mm -hmm. You can't mm -hmm. trust anymore. Right. So now you're distrustful now and you're now you're nasty and now, now you're just disrespectful. So you're no longer the nice guy. Right. So, so Ange, I mean, before we get yeah. into the children part mm -hmm. and before we get into healing and solutions and kind of the mm -hmm. therapeutic part mm -hmm. before we let you go, mm -hmm. um, I want to know, like, do you believe, because um, we talk about this in different conversations, that your spirit, your aura kind of really allows you to attract, you know, certain things, certain energies, certain people. Um, and I find a lot of times, I don't know if it's true, you, you can kind of correct me and let me know if I'm wrong. Usually most women who have been in abusive relationships, usually, unless they had a change within themselves, unless they were, you know, got healed and, you know, delivered and just their mindset and everything about them, their inner self, their, um, you know, uh, self-esteem and different things like that have been heightened and awakened on a stronger level. Mm -hmm. Is it possible for men or women to attract that type of individual again in your life? I mean, is it, you know, because I've heard where people that are abusers can honestly almost smell you. You know, it's like a shark, it, you know, with, with something in the water, you know what I'm saying? Um, and kind of sense that that person they can prey on or mm. that individual is weak or, you know, kind of, if you can speak to that, you know what I'm saying? Is there, is that true? Is there something that victims kind of give off to a certain degree? Um, and if so, how can you like reverse that or how can you kind of work on not you know attracting those type of individuals again in your life mm -hmm. um you said the key words you kind of answered your own question so okay. you said the words healing and delivered okay the victims don't give themselves enough time to be healed from the situation mm -hmm. a lot of times i find they jump in from one relationship Yes. To another. Yes. Um, they don't give their time their time, they don't give themselves time enough to heal. Mm -hmm. They believe, oh, a different face will heal my situation. 
Mm. They're not looking at the patterns. Mm. They're not looking at the signs. So they're jumping from, oh my God, it's like the movie with Denzel Washington where the spirit would jump in from different bodies. Okay, yes. Mm. Spirit, but different faces. I forget the right. name of the movie, but it's, it's very similar to that. So again- and is, that the, um, is that the Book of Eli? Book of Eli. Not the Book of Eli. It oh. was some movie. It's something like with see. angels, right? Something like that? I can't um, remember. He was an angel? Was, I think Denzel Washington was this cop. Oh, he was a and cop. And it was this convicted killer. He got electrocuted or killed or something, but his spirit ended up jumping into different bodies. Wow. It got to a point well, where Denzel Washington knew the profiler so much, he was able to recognize the personality of the spirit. Mm. of the person when he jumped into different bodies. So it's kind of like the victim. If they don't give themselves time to heal mm -hmm. and to be delivered, they're going from different faces, different physiques, but still dealing with that violent demonic spirit that yes. constantly beats on them all the time. So again, wow. the key words is healing and deliverance. And, and, I, can ag and I, can ag I can agree with that real quick mm -hmm. um, because I will say that my transition from being in um, that abusive relationship um, and meeting my husband, I spent like a whole two years or whatever in the process before I met him, really just working on me, you know what I'm saying? And getting my own self together because I just couldn't believe that I allowed, right. you know, certain things to happen towards the end. The relationship didn't start like that, but towards the end of it, it yeah. did. So, and in order for me to accept now, mm -hmm. you know, the man that God really was, you know, sending my way in my life, um, right. I, you know, I had to be prepared and ready for that. So I totally get that. Right. I totally get that. Right. Yeah. Um, so yes, they do attract, I say, well, the abusers do recognize it because the victims, they had that same pattern. Mm -hmm. They're acceptable and they don't stop it. So if they accept it from this person, three months later, they meet a new person. And the abuser see, oh, I can take advantage of you. Okay, mm -hmm. you're easy to walk all over, and that's for men and women. Wow. So again, the victim is so suggestive to that cycle of abuse, they mm -hmm. don't know any better. Right. Um, so you can talk to them all you want to. You can try to raise them up, but if they don't give their self time to, um, I do this method where I do past, present, future. Mm -hmm. And within that exercise, um, I had them tell the story of what happened in the past. Mm -hmm. When they're in a place in the present, they're ready to go to their process of healing. Mm -hmm. And I find that they're talking about what happened in the past, how they were belittled and what this person did to them and their posture goes down. I send them back to the past. Mm -hmm. And then I talk about it. And then I give the metaphor of you're still in prison. Right. You're still in a cage. Right. You were in, you're in 2020. Why are you going all the way back to 2014? Wow. You just told me how you came and you ready to heal mm -hmm. and you're ready to move forward. You're ready to move into 2025, but now you're going all the way back to 2014. Mm -hmm. What is that force? What is that trauma? What is that memory? Mm -hmm. What is that flashback mm -hmm. that keeps pulling you backwards mm -hmm. instead of sending you forward? Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Right. Yeah, that makes perfect makes sense. Totally when you sense. spoke about cycles, you know, again, that's kind of going into the the abuser or the victim. When yes, the perpetual cycle of being an abuser, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. in and outside of relationships, um, you know, as they go, and then also being a perpetual victim in yes. those kinds of relationships. And you know, should not ask you how do you, you know what uh, in the person attracts that. Um, um, out of or about the other person, but I want to ask you a different, I'm going to spin that question a little bit. So when we think about being the abuser or being the victim, mm -hmm. this necessarily in my mind, thinking logically, someone does not make uh, an effort intentionally to be the victim right. or the right. abuser, right. right? Like, so right. I, when we say, when we say this now from the abuser perspective, Mm -hmm. Do you do you do you see um, those that are abusers or have been abusers come to you and ask the question, "How can I stop doing this? Mm. And where did this come from? And how do I alleviate this from my life because it's ruining my life as the abuser?" 
and it being right. genuine and being heartfelt. Mm -hmm. How how right. often do you see that? Is that is that foreign to see, or does that come up? No, because they do have batterers programs where, um, by court order, the batterer is forced or is mandatory for them to go into these counseling sessions. I do believe people can change. A lot of people don't believe that. I even have hope and prayers for the abuser. I believe because it's been such a cycle, and you brought up a key point. Um, they were raised that way. That's mm -hmm. something that, that was modeled in front of them, and that's all that they know. So wow. here they are growing up with the alcoholic dad who constantly slapped the mother around, or the son who constantly saw the mom berate the father's manhood, whether it be drugs or drinking, or right. the woman right. was so hell scorned, all she knows is to beat the husband down. So mm -hmm. here you have the product of the children, and I'll talk about children abuse. Right. It segues into children. They're mm -hmm. seeing this model in front of them. So as they grow up, that's all they know. That's right. all they're taught. So right. then they carry this pattern of abuse or being the victim. Well, mommy and daddy did it. What's wrong if I do it? It's okay for me to abuse because the language of abuser means that I love them. Mm. So they have this distorted thinking of, well, this is how I love. I love by being verbally abusive. I love by smacking the person across their head. I mm -hmm. love by cursing them out. Well, if I'm not nasty to them, then that means that I don't love them. If right. I don't beat them, then that means I don't love them. If right. I don't berate their manhood and constantly tell them what they don't do, if I don't critique them, mm -hmm. then I don't love them. So they right. grow up with this distorted thinking and then they carry it on into relationship, relationship, relationship. Mm. So it's all about model and learn behavior. Wow, model and learn behavior. It's very good. Oh my God, sis. All it's right. So it's before we let you go, <laughs> please <laughs> share, please share um how you incorporate your passion, your mm -hmm. ministry of dance um into helping mm -hmm. people survive, helping people defeat yes. um, you know, domestic violence, uh -huh. and then kind of give if you can, um, it could be three or more, um, you know, tools or points that you want to leave, you know, with the people on, on tonight. Sure. Um, points, I always tell them in my videos, and forgive me, I don't have my um, social media handles, but I will give my email address and I'll tell them where they can search me. Yeah. Um, so tips I give, all the hotlines, depending, now I'll give this disclaimer, this Depending on the severity of the domestic violence. Yes. Call 911. Yes. Um, have a friend, call a friend, have these secret codes. Yes. Text, um, pizza, pineapple, shrimp. Now, these are stuff that your friends know that you're allergic to or that can kill you. Okay. If you are getting these text messages, pineapple, shrimp, whatever hurts you physically or will cause some type of allergic reaction that will mm -hmm. put you in the hospital, mm -hmm. then that friend should know, okay, I got to go to this friend house and get them there wow. in deep trouble. Okay. So okay. cryptic code messages. Code call 911. Code messages. Come on. Hotline that you can get in touch with. Um, mm -hmm. There are safe houses in numbers. Um, she called the domestic hotline. They'll give you places that you can reach out to where you can go to safe shelters or safe houses to be removed from that very drastic, violent place. Mm -hmm. I know it's harder if you have children, but they yes. take children as well. Wow. So again, there's always plan of escape, call the hotline, call the cops, have a safety plan, have cryptic text messages or phone calls. That yes. is very important. Um, I forgot your next question. I'm sorry. What was your other no, question? No, I was just saying, share how you use um, dance therapy. Oh, um, really? Yes. Um, so spiritually and it's funny because a lot of um people that i came across had the same christian faith or christian background mm -hmm. without even saying what i believe in i always tell them i don't know what your spiritual background is or what you believe in whatever your higher power you need to call on that for help whether you're muslim buddhist or whatever what can you do to get you to a place of wholeness so I use the song, um, no weapon formed against me. So if a person is struggling with choking and they can't breathe, a lot of times the body will go down. What I do, I ask them, well, what opposite movement can you do to get your authority back or your power back? 
-hmm. So if there is a choking, I get them to grab hold of the victim and what they're doing to them and saying, no more, stop. Mm -hmm. Or if they're down here, I raise up their head and say, lift up and get out of your troubles. So when they're down here, I do the opposite of arising and the victory and freedom. So mm -hmm. you're choking, you're losing life, and you're going down. Rise up, victory, freedom, release. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, um, if it's physical, if emotional, and I did a video on it, um, they're hearing all these negative words. The negative words brings you down. Mm -hmm. What can I do? I use my arms to push it out. Wow. You're gaining back your authority. You're getting control of your atmosphere. You're pushing it back. So once I was here, closed in, the abuser has belittled me and made me small. I take my power and I push it out. I'm opening myself. I am here. I am powerful. I am strong. So it's the outward, upward movement. Anytime you get the person to move in an upward position, it means that they are raising themselves before or above the abuser. Yeah. So the lifting means raising themselves up above the abuser. No longer am I down and belittled and below their feet. I am rising myself up out of the muck and mire. I am free. Wow. I have been, this wow. right here. Mm. This from victory. This wow. means pushing out and no more. So it depends on the severity of the story. I take movement and I do the opposite, and I have them use positive affirmations to let them know that they have power. Take oh back God. your power. Take yes. back your authority. Yes. Be the person that God designed you to be. Yes. Do not give them the power to rewrite your DNA or your genetic code. Yes. Take back who you are. Be the person that you used to be. Find your identity and your strength. Wow, sis. I mean, whoo! Powerful, yes. powerful, powerful, and it's and it's I, so I it, it's so empowering, yes. and it's so enlightening. You know, what I'm saying like just enlightenment, just all the way around. I mean. Um, you know, I just think that it's just so awesome, you know, that God has allowed you to, um, have your ministry passion mm. of what you love to kind of work on a professional level, um, as well. And, <laughs> and tie it in. What? Oh, listen. So she's just saying, and tie it in. Tie it in. Um, and you mm. can, you're, you're giving men and women mm. power back yes. that, you know, the canker worm, the palm worm, whatever the, the spirit thought that they stole, mm -hmm. you know, from, from that individual. Right. Um, and that may be the first step right. for them getting, you know, on the path, mm. um, as we said, of healing and deliverance, um, you know, and getting a sense of awakening of themselves right. to make the first move, to plan a way of escape. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? So Absolutely. I think that this is so awesome, yeah. Angela. I, oh my I, yes. God. Yes, <laughs> I, I, I echo that and I say gratitude, <laughs> gratitude, gratitude to you yes. for, for your part in uplifting fallen humanity. Yes. Because this is where we are with it. Yes. And um it, it's not easy. And um there are challenges beyond what we've discussed here yeah, today absolutely. or tonight. Yes. Um, but with you being a voice, right? For the voiceless for you being a, a, a helper when there seems to be no one there, yes. a ram in the bush, yep. you know, that you were maybe even tonight for someone that was listening. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, you know what? Maybe, may, maybe I can, right. maybe I can escape. Yeah. Right. Maybe I can, leave. maybe I can yep. leave. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can. Yep. So just for that, or maybe even, we, we listen. Listen, or I'm, even I'm recognizing there. the signs Wait that a minute. they were choosing to ignore. Just recognize from that. the love bombing, from the gaslighting, Ooh. from the stonewalling, Come and on. just even being with an individual that's not narcissistic. Right. Um. You know, I just think that listen. the education that was shortly provided on tonight oh, with yes. us, CWS mm -hmm. will help someone. So listen, guys, you mm. can follow her. Come on. Um. I know it's uh, Angela Williams on YouTube. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have Angela yes. Williams. You have your, your YouTube handle, Wait. Angela Williams. Wow. Yes. I don't know how you got Angela Williams. That is that is probably <laughs> that's real good. That's real good. Excuse me. Can we say okay? Focus? Okay. okay. Angela Williams. That is she that, that's not. Up. I'm not gonna remember. Also, I'm gonna remember that. Also put um Angela Williams t o b praise dot com or Angela Williams hashtag defeat domestic violence with movement. If they put that in the YouTube search, they'll see all my videos. 
All right, we're going to put that at the bottom of the screen. We're going to put that at the bottom of the screen. We got you. And we're going to actually have um, T.O.B. Praise Dance mm -hmm. or Angela Williams. Hashtag defeat domestic violence with movement, and they'll see a series of all my videos. Yes, and I think it's um, T.O.B. Praise Dance on IG, right? Mm -hmm. And um and FB, right? So we'll make sure we tag your pages. T O B. Yes. We're gonna have it. T O B yes. Praise Dance One on yes. Instagram. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we'll That's make awesome. sure we tag you That's awesome. um in this. And so listen, yeah. before we let you go, you know, we do the lyrical lesson. Lyrical. We wanted to know what song do you want us to kind of dedicate or share Oof. on behalf of Domestic Um Violence Awareness Month and on behalf of you and your ministry yes. and your work and everything that you do what do you yes. what do you want to share oh wow uh there's so oh my gosh I, and i thought about it earlier it doesn't come to mind um i like relationship songs that talk about the back and forth and though you get on my nerves and i want to put my foot up your behind sometimes <laughs> and just like ah it's not domestic violence but there it's, it's a song called um sometimes by Bilal. He's this new Okay. Yes. Artist. Yes. Um, well, listen, sis, you don't, you don't, know. you don't know. You don't know that Bilal is my boo. Okay. Listen, everybody, everybody that really, really know me, I don't been to every Bilal. She's going to do the whole I, lyrical Ooh, lesson. My, 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 my. Yes. Listen, <laughs> my brother, he's a, He's a powerful young man. People sleep on him, yeah. um, but he taps yeah. all the way in. Um, sometimes it's definitely one of my favorite songs. You got yeah. that list. We got you. We yeah. got you for the lyrical so, lesson on that. Yeah. So Woo! Brother Lonzo, from a male perspective, yes. he's talking to his partner about, you yes. know what? What you used to do in the beginning was cute. It's not uh -huh. cute. It's, it's not cute, cute no more. more. Right, right. Sometimes you want to take my foot and put it up your behind because you talk too much. You got too oh, much. Oh. Oh. I love you. Yeah. I love you. But you do it too much. Sometimes I just want to choke the life out of you. Oh so my. to me, that talks now about the real Wait a minute. We, we got to um, go, go back. <laughs> <laughs> it talks about, you guys are funny. So to me, it talks on. about the real nitty gritty of yes, male it is. It is. and right. female it is. and how they get into these disagreements. Yes. Not abusive arguments. Right, right, not right. Not emotional right. abuse, no right. domestic right. violence, right. just disagreements. Yes. You're not mm. seeing eye to eye and it's yes. driving me crazy. Yes. I love you, but you're getting on my nerves. Yes. Still want to be with you, still want to be married to you, still want to be engaged with you. You're my best friend, but right now I want to fight you because you're not hearing me. We oh have a miscommunication, so sometimes I just want to, you know. Oh. Yeah. Well, well, but listen, guys, whoop. there you go. That's the lyrical lesson. I ain't really say. got much to say about That's it. it. <laughs> Serious. That's the lyrical lesson. Well, listen, guys, listen, we want you to please follow our dear sister. Please Angela Williams. Angela Williams or whatever. And listen, like Juju. she said, she's in Camden, New Jersey. You guys know Yo, we are out peace of Peace to Jersey. Camden. Peace to Camden. Yes, and, I ain't been to Camden in a minute. Yeah, we have. But been. we got some strong brothers and sisters down in Camden. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So, I, work, I work out in Camden. It's called Pals. I'm from Brick City, North New yes. Jersey, but I commute every day to Camden. That's an hour and a half yes. commute. So yes. that is a mission from God. Yes. yes. I commute. What is, you Camden said, what is, is it tough. called again since Pals, you said? Pals. Yes. P A L S. It's okay. Camden yeah. Pals. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So we'll make sure gotcha. that we have all Peace of that, uh, you know, at the bottom of the screen, yeah. you know, so you guys can check out the information where you can link up with Angela. Um, if you need a counseling session, um, she has oh, her email address. Absolutely. Absolutely. on her website and all of that good stuff yes. um youtube facebook instagram and she does reply um she has a lot of clients but give her some time she will definitely reply to you Absolutely. since we love you yes and your girls miss you so yes we'll, my babies i love them COVID, yeah. I, I don't know we'll figure it out we'll figure it out we'll figure it out peace and love you guys, and thank you're a beautiful you. couple you are god sent thank you i i love this invite me back anytime thank you yes, thank you so much for your yes, time we appreciate yes. you yes all right love you all talk right, to you thank soon you. Thank you. all right bye bye Bye-bye. Sometimes, sing it with me, I wish. I wish in love, and I wish. Oh. Hey, loves. 
Lyrical Lesson. Lyrical Lesson. Chapter 16. Ooh, inspired by. Bilal. Bilal. You heard Sister Ann. Let's go. You heard Angela Williams. Bilal, let's go. Y'all know Bilal's my favorite. Come on, Pray baby. for me. Peace, Bilal. <laughs> Listen. Okay, sometimes. so the song is Sometimes is off his first album, right? First album. And um, the song starts out and he says, this song makes me spill out all my guts. I start. <laughs> that right there already tells you make me spill out that it's a it's oh a serious guts. serious song. Come on with it. And he says, mm. sometimes I wish I wasn't me. Mm. Sometimes I wish I was drug free. Now listen, mm. um, you know we ain't going to talk about the brother, you know, with the drugs. But listen, some people that are in abusive situations, they do take brother drugs to to right. Right. Take drugs to numb themselves right. out. Right. We pray that that to is escape. not the case. Right. Come right. On. Come on. Um, he says, sometimes I wish I saw the exit sign first, which she talked about. We ignore some signs a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And you still stay with the person. But he said he wish he would have saw it first, right? Mm. That's a message. It is a message. I wish I would have saw the exit signs. Right. First. Right. Then he Why says, sometimes I, I wish. I knew truth mm -hmm. without search. He mm. says, sometimes I could go where I've never been, see what I never saw, see what I never saw. Do, what I never do what I never did, right? And walk before I could crawl sometimes. That's what he says, mm. okay? We're going to skip a little Wish bit Wish was a little bit further along. Right, so we're going to go on. to the next verse, right? right. We're going to skip the chorus. Drop on. And he says, sometimes, hey, Slim, you should be nicer than you are. Sometimes. Sometimes. So listen. Woo! Come on. She talked about narcissistic personality. Right. Talked about control. Talked mm -hmm. about how the person talks down to you. Right. You know, trying to, you know, come down on you, criticize you. Come on. Y'all got to watch that. Come on. That's a sign. Come on. Sometimes. Sometimes. He said, uh, sometimes, uh, you take my, you take the complaining mm -hmm. sugar honey iced tea. Way too far. Way too far. Sometimes, sometimes you're doing too much. Right, but he said, I, it, he said, I mean. I mean. But I thought it was cute in the beginning. You know what I mean? It's a little. But not, now, I think. Now. You only do it. Mm -hmm. You only complain. You only, you cause only. Because you, know, you know I hate it. Because you know it get on my nerves. Sometimes. Sometimes. Woo. He said, you know, I wish I didn't have mm. home training. Now, see, when she was talking about how minute. to, like, you know, I was brother raised started out, you know, and, to be right, respectful. total gentleman, huh? respectful, but now you done turned Sometimes I wish it wasn't that the case. Because how Wait you at, minute. right? Male or female, right? It's down. Listen. It's down sometimes. Then we can skip down. He said, listen, sometimes right. I wish I knew life without no pain. He said... I, list, I wish I could, could pretend, you listen. know. He said, listen, just sometimes he just wish. You know what I'm saying? So that's really the basis of the song. I mean, you guys can, sometimes. you know, listen to it. Bilal. Uh, he's a genius. Shout out to Bilal. Shout out to him. It's Bilal. Um, Peace. But, uh, you know, uh, Barry Mason, Woo. let's read, you know, Come wrote on. it. But Bilal Come sang on. it. Bilal sang and um, listen, it's, it's a wonderful song. Yes. And you can hear the emotion in the song. You can hear it. Um, and you can even get the sense of buildup in the song. Mm. But um, we want you guys to know yes. that sometimes mm. you absolutely have to look at your relationship situation. Are you in a healthy relationship? And if you are not in a healthy relationship, right. sometimes, mm. most of the time, mm. you may have to let that relationship go. You might. Sometimes. Yeah, and God has something better, mm. more healthy, right? More fulfilling, right? You know, less stressful, less stressful, no abuse, mm. emotional, physical, psychological, financial, Listen, none at all. We're here to be productive. We're here to be progressive. Yes, and by all be free. other things, that's right. We're here to be loved. Yes, yes. Not to be abused. Yes. So. Listen, we all have to look at ourselves in the mirror. Yeah. And be honest. Yeah. That's how we're going to grow. 
Listen, guys. That's how we gonna grow. So that's our lyrical lesson. Yes. We thank um our sister again, Angela Williams, Angela, for suggesting peace. the song. The Come song on. is dedicated. Sometimes. Um, to you guys, and listen, we look forward mm. to seeing you all next week. Yes. Hey, go on w dot Purchase sweatshirts, hoodies, Loves t shirts. TWS. Support us. Dot com. And also, yes, we I admonish you. You know, if you you know, would like to make a donation mm -hmm. um, to any domestic violence awareness yes. organizations mm -hmm. to help mm -hmm. in defeating this, you know, pandemic that has been existing for a minute, yes. okay? Yes. This serious situation within our community. And we have had lighthearted times yes. here tonight, yes. but we know that this is no laughing matter. No, it is not. And that it is absolutely critical yes. that this is dealt with on many levels. Yes. Yes. So, yep. We thank you. Thank you guys. for your presence tonight. Yes. Come yes. on. Yes. yes, episode sixteen. Yes. You know what I mean. And Listen, you have now. You just reached. What they just reached? Loves. Loves. The right spot. The right spot. Yes. Thank you yes. for tuning in. Who you loving? Who you wanna be? Who you hugging? wanna be hugging? Ah, I wanna hug you. Wait Come a minute. On, we Sometimes we gotta hang up. We gotta hang up. Yes. Listen, love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning yes. in this week and be inspired yes. to be great. Yes. Peace and love. Peace and love. See y'all next week. Yes. Love, love, the right, the right. Lap, 